What's up everyone, in this video we are going over on how to install Motion iOS on Raspberry Pi 4 without having any errors. To begin, as you might know, Motion iOS is a full video surveillance software that is open source and allows you to have recordings from your cameras into a hard drive or SD card. And all you have to do to get this software is to go to the GitHub page of this project and click on releases. Before we continue, I want to say that I'm not responsible for anything that happens with this software and I'm only showing you my experience with the software and how I installed the software into my Raspberry Pi. So as I previously mentioned, I decided to install this on my Raspberry Pi. So on the releases page, I look for the Raspberry Pi version and I click on download. After downloading the file, go to your Raspberry Pi imager and now you have to choose your Raspberry Pi device which in this case you have to click on no filtering, it is better and we're not going to get any type of error. For the OS, use the custom OS and click on the file that we downloaded and for the storage, choose either your micro SD card or your flash drive that you want to put the OS on it. After that, it shows you a question, would you like to apply OS customization setting, click on no and right here it says that it will delete everything on your storage. If you don't have anything and you want to install the OS, click on yes. After the process is done, pull out your SD card and go ahead connect it to your Raspberry Pi. Now you don't necessarily need a monitor, but in this case I'm going to connect the Raspberry Pi to the monitor because we'll most likely get an error to show you the error. And here is the error, most likely you get the error like this and it says that the software is not updated and it does not boot into the OS. And what you have to do right now is very important and you have to listen very carefully. Take out the micro SD card from your Raspberry Pi, reconnect it to your PC and open it in file manager. Right here you have to replace two files in here and the two files are fixup4.dat and start4.elf. These two files are outdated from this OS and we need to replace it with a newer version and most likely you find a newer version in Raspberry Pi OS or any other type of OS that is just recently released. So you have to install the Raspberry Pi OS, open it, copy the two files into your PC install this OS on this key card and replace these two files in here and now you will see that your OS will work once you boot it up and you don't need a monitor anymore. If you don't want to connect the monitor to your Raspberry Pi, all you have to do is to give your network SSID and password to the OS and the way you can do that is by typing this code in the notepad and saving it as the name that I show you right here. And once you do that, you are basically done. You can take out the micro SD card or the flash drive from your computer, reconnect it to your Raspberry Pi, plug it into the power and boot it up. If you have a USB camera, you can also connect it to your Raspberry Pi and then all you have to do is to go to your router configuration and look for the IP address of the device that is connected to your router, go to a browser, type in the IP address and here we go, you are in Motion iOS. As you can see with that easy fix that we replaced the two files with a file from another OS, we easily fix the problem and we are not getting any error and we can boot into Raspberry Pi Motion iOS. The first thing I recommend you to do is to set a password so unauthorized user cannot access your portal. Other than USB cameras, you can connect the vast majority of cameras from IP cameras to MJPEG cameras and without any problem. In the setting, you can find many options including saving the files to a Google Drive, saving it to a SD card, a hard drive, motion detection settings and many more. At the end, I hope this video has helped you. If so, please go ahead and give a subscribe to this channel because it will motivate me to create more content like this one. Thank you for watching and have a great day.